via yeah. telephone, Matt <laughs> Miller from the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Also the usual, uh, or I should say, often Tuesday co-host on this program as well. Matty, good morning to you. Good morning. Do you still have to run for dog catcher? Do you get elected to dog catcher still, or is that an appointed position? I don't think that's a thing anymore. Or an I think position. it's called animal control. Yeah, but they you yeah, know, okay. catch dogs. <laughs> that's still part of the job, though, isn't it? <laughs> I would think. Was it ever called dog catcher? Did anybody ever run for a position called dog catcher? That's a cliche. If you're in Florida, is it gator catcher? Is that what, you know, that kind of thing? Gator wrangler? Crocodile hunter. One of those things. Steve uh, Irwin there, right? Yeah. Do you ever see that, like on This Is Sports Center? You know how they did those mascot commercials those promos that they would do oh, yeah. did you ever see the one with steve Irwin, where the florida gator yeah. gets out of an elevator oh yeah <laughs> oh crikey he's beautiful speaking of mascots did you see uh the miami heat mascot get decked by no. uh, uh what's his my the the mma fighter connor mcgregor connor mcgregor my brain stopped yeah they did some <laughs> kind of a skit and it, mcgregor was supposed to punch him or something and he actually did the guy had to take him to the hospital oh. yes twice after he's on the ground they punched him again that's going to cost him some money yeah. Uh, Matt, uh, where are you right now, by the way? I am sitting in my car in a parking lot on the other side of town. All right, very good. Uh, give, me the, give me the rundown on the, uh, the FCA camps for this summer and how things are going. Well, uh, we had our first camp last week up at Spring Mills High School in the DuPont Soccer Complex, and uh, it was such a blessing. We had uh, 89 kids that were signed up and uh, actually had 88 that were able to make it out to camp for four days and uh, just had a great time, about 40 volunteers as well, kids playing soccer, basketball, volleyball, uh, lacrosse, and football. And, uh, again, it was just a really awesome week, a chance to uh, share God's Word. Our theme in FCA through the course of this year is out of John chapter 3 and verse 30. It's John the Baptist speaking of Jesus and saying that he must increase and I must decrease. And that was our message throughout the course of camp and uh, uh, just couldn't have had things go any better. Uh, we did have to fight a little bit with um, the wildfires in Canada, bringing the uh, air quality problems that kept us inside a little bit on Thursday, but nothing better than a 60-person kickball game in the large gym. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And again, people? our volunteers did a great job helping to organize that. And, and then uh, the downpour of rain on Friday afternoon, caught our outside sports i was out there with them and we got absolutely pelted and drenched uh it was a, a cold rain but uh it was it was good to finally see a little liquid sunshine matt why are you why do you do what you do um honestly it, it's a calling from the lord um uh, when i got into sports broadcasting 30 years ago um i initially wanted to get into sports broadcasting for an opportunity to call World Series and Super Bowls and, you know, be famous and see and be with famous people. And not that there's anything necessarily wrong with that, but in, in my heart, I guess it was maybe an idol. And the Lord uh, took me off to Bible college, uh, kind of took away the excitement of, of being a sports broadcaster for a, a brief time period and then brought that back and said, look, there's nothing to the matter with being involved in sports, but do it for my honor and glory. And so for 29 years i had the opportunity to call games in the area and god presented opportunities to share him and pray with coaches and athletes and and hold conversations and uh and it was awesome but then a couple of years back when the position opened for area director here with fca um immediately when uh, i got the information about that uh, i was on the board at that time i'd only been on the board for fca locally for about three months after volunteering with the uh, fellowship of Christian athletes in the area for many years, uh, uh, at, after first getting into radio and so forth, it, it just was obvious. This is where the Lord wanted me to be. And so it's, it's all about a mission of just sharing Christ with, with our coaches and athletes and using sports to share it with our community. These, the kids that come, you said 89 campers, uh, Matt, at your most recent camp last week. Uh, what are these kids looking for, Matt? What do they need? Um, a lot of times, you know, they're, they're there looking for the opportunity to enjoy sports, you know, and, and that's good. But, you know, what we try to give them is not only some really good coaching and training and a lot of fun, but, again, to share with them that, you know, the, the sports and the, the things of this life are, are not going to bring satisfaction. Um, uh, you know, you, you hear it from professional athletes. You see it in the lives of, of uh, college athletes and others that – you know, you, you can win 
the Super Bowl, you can win, you know, the state championship, you can reach the goals that you had set for yourself. And, and in the end, kind of go that that was it. You know, the, not, now what? And, and so we try to encourage them to find their identity, to find their satisfaction in life through their relationship with Jesus Christ. And that that will always bring a fulfillment, whether you win or whether you lose. You can walk away. Hey, I went out. I did my best. I played hard. I gave it my all. Praise God, I won. That's awesome. But you know what? That's not the end. There's more to come after this. And if I lost, hey, it stinks, but I can pick myself back up and let's move on and try again. What else do you have coming up this summer, Matt? Hey, we've got a camp next week. We're working to finalize those things here during this week. But next week, we're really excited about our first ever outdoors camp where we'll be over at the Back Creek Valley Bow and Gun Club. And we'll have uh, four stations that the kids will rotate through throughout the day. They'll get about uh, 45 to 50 minutes to uh, be able to shoot uh, rifles on a 22 uh, rifle range, uh, to shoot uh, bow and arrow at our archery range, to uh, stand around the pond and uh, hopefully catch a few fish at our fishing station. And then we'll have a camping and a hiking station as well. And so really looking forward to that camp next week. Bod, well, that sounds like something we should just go do next week. It does. It <laughs> sounds like a fun day. <laughs> Matt, I, what what you're doing is amazing. I mean, FCA is such a it's such a great 89 kids out there having fun, even though the, we were being attacked from the northern border with the, the the stuff. We got northern border, southern border. The borders are just just were coming at us last week. What um, what activities do you have? I know you have these things coming up for the summer. Going a little farther, what sort of things do you have coming up in the fall? Because it's good for parents to plan, families to think, and, and kids to know what is coming up that they can look forward to from FCA going forward. Well, in the fall, our, our biggest thing is that we are able to serve as a club within many of our schools in the area and schools that we are not in right now. Uh, on the middle school, high school, college level, we're looking to get into to be able to have an FCA club where we would hold a, a, a Bible study where kids can come if, if they desire to be a part of that and, and hear God's word and be encouraged by others within their school that, that share their faith. And, and so they you know, they know they've got some people behind them, uh, some support around them as they seek to serve the Lord as an athlete. And, and you don't have to be an athlete either. Um, you know, I know a lot of times when I was in school, I played sandlot ball far more than I ever did as a member of a sports team at my school. Uh, we invite you to come and, and be a part of that. So uh, we, we hold those what we call huddles. Think of a football huddle. You get together, you get the play call, you clap hands, break out, and boom, go get them. And that's kind of the idea that we have. Hey, we're going to try to do this huddle typically in the morning before school day starts. We're going to have about 20 minutes to a half an hour. We're going to play a little game, uh, get to know one another. We're going to pray. We're going to get into God's Word a little bit. And then we're going to pray again as we, we wrap up. And then, boom, clap hands, let's go, hit the day, and do it for the Lord. And so uh, we get those started as the school year gets underway. Then we'll do some activities as well. We're going to have a laser tag night and uh, a game night over at uh, Coburn Field for all of our SCAs uh, in the Eastern Panhandle. That will be in September. We have an event called Fields of Faith in October where we have students who will share their testimonies, their God stories of what he is doing in their lives. And uh, we'll have a special speaker that will be a part of that as well. Uh, we'll try to do some other outreach things. A lot of our groups uh, will, you know, help with maybe a, a family that's in need within their given school, and they'll go do some shopping and wrap gifts and things like that. So uh, just try to be involved in whatever ways that we can within our schools and our community. John Gilstrap. Do you find that the is the FCA enrollment probably the wrong word membership at the schools does it does it fluctuate or does it grow continuously or how does how does that work how do, how do kids get involved with it first of all they can get involved just by simply coming and uh, you know a lot of times it's a matter of uh, someone that's already a part of it a teammate a classmate who says you know hey man why don't you come join us. FCA meets on Thursday morning at 7 o'clock. We're going to meet in the cafeteria or the library or this classroom, wherever it may be, and we'll get kids that, that come that way. Um, we get opportunities as well to do what we call team huddles, 
And so those are chances where we maybe meet after a practice. Um, I think during the football season, or I think of, you know, the football season with that, because we did it last year at Martinsburg High School, where Tuesday after practice, it was called the main thing. And any player that wanted to stay, we would hit the weight room, coaching staff provide a few snacks, and we would do a quick Bible study and devotion together and just encourage them throughout the course of their week. So, you know, that's an opportunity then to remind those kids, hey, we also have a meeting on Friday mornings at Martinsburg High School that's open to any athlete in any sport. And so uh, it, it does fluctuate. Beginning of the year, you're, you're always going to get your big numbers. You know, some of our huddles, we can have 35, 40, 50 kids. And by the end of the year, your seniors have graduated. There's a couple weeks left in the school year. Everybody's tired. They don't want to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to be there by 7. And so you'll see those numbers dwindle down to 20, 15, that sort of thing. There's always some fluctuation. Tell those kids to get up at 6. That's sleeping in, Matt. <laughs> I, I know that we can't all do the hours that you do or no one would get anything done during the course of the, the afternoons i wouldn't I'd, I'd be done by about 11 a.m if i got up when when rob does i am i'm done by about nine that's why i have co-hosts so i mean <laughs> one other thing just just from that i've gleaned just from listening to what you're saying today is i mean obviously you, you want them to to grow spiritually and everything else but you were talking about people inviting people to it and stuff like that. It's growing. I'm sure the chapters that grow, the, the huddles or the things in each school that grow the most are the ones where you've developed student leaders, where people have the leadership from within, where they are attracting others to come to it. Can you talk a little bit about, about how you guys develop, develop the student leaders to, to grow the, the program? Yeah, absolutely, and that's that's a key part of what we do. Um, we want to be able to work with our local churches. You know, a, a lot of churches in our area have youth groups, right, that meet for those middle school and high school ages that, that they can learn and grow in that setting. What we love to be able to do then is provide an opportunity to work with some of those youth leaders and those kids in those youth groups to say, hey, we're not going to give you an opportunity to put that faith into action in your school and so yes in our huddle groups we look to have a handful of students it, it could be as, as little as two it could be as many as five or six that serve in a leadership capacity and then those leaders will tend to get together for at least a few minutes during the course of the week they'll communicate hey this thursday when we meet let's do this let's maybe look at this particular passage of scripture or do this particular devotional hey let's play this little icebreaker game why don't you do this you do this i'll do this and they divide up those responsibilities and so yeah the, the goal is that we we're, we're trying to encourage them and help them to not only grow in their faith but to have the confidence then to share their faith and to invite others to be a part of what they're doing. Matt, how can our uh, listeners and their children find out more about FCA and become members? Well, we do have a website. It's really simple. EP, think of Eastern Panhandle, WV, West Virginia, FCA, a fellowship of Christian athletes. So EP, WV, FCA.org. And on that website, you can see our camps, our golf tournaments, our other events. You can see some of our staff we do have two new uh, part-time staff members that we haven't quite got their information up but uh, certainly can find things there we have a facebook page as well so look up uh, ep uh, fca or eastern panhandle fca facebook page and of course uh, reach out and, and call me or send me an email matt miller at fca.org or my phone is 304-268-6544 thank you matt good to talk with you again Thank you. Hopefully I'll see you in July. <laughs> Matt Miller.